Hello everyone and welcome to this week's energy activation reading. Um, so I just did a meditation just to connect in with the energy and to connect in with spirit to bring through what's being activated this week and any messages that uh, spirit wanted to bring through. There was this energy of uh, pulsating I was getting from the energy grid of earth and I feel like we're really being called at this stage, and I know I repeat this a lot, but spirit repeats this a lot of really connecting and being in presence with Mother Earth because uh, Gaia is our, it's our anchor here and she helps us to uh, be in correspondence with our with our destiny, our path, with our journey and helps us to manifest the abundance that we need and the tools that we need in order to create the life that we desire or to to in order to bring about our mission here on earth. Another message I get from uh, Gaia as well is that she also helps us in releasing and transmuting any energies that are not in alignment with that. So, and keeping in that present moment and keeping aligned with her, you feel more nurtured as you take those steps. You feel more clarity, she's saying. You feel like you are the powerful being that you are without that support with that out without that anchorage to the earth you may feel detached you may feel like you don't belong you may feel as though you are not being that you may feel abandoned or feel as though you're not being guided in some way okay this is just the messages i'm getting here okay uh so I feel like that is a message for some of you. Another message I was getting was about the element of air. I feel like the element of air is going to be predominant this week. And there's this sense of, I feel like for a lot of you, well, this is what spirit was bringing through, was this sense of flying free, this uh, wanting freedom or feeling like you want freedom. <sighs> What else was it that was brought through here? That's right. The other message was about heart-to-heart -heart connections. There was energy around the heart chakra connecting with your sacral chakra, your sexual energy. So some of you may be feeling more connected with people around you uh, and that can be a rise in the creative and sexual energies within your sacral chakras um, they're saying to me right now it's coming alive okay the, the sacral chakra is coming alive which is going to be the conduit for your creative potential moving forwards but they also pointed out the throat chakra needs to be balanced in order for you to bring about that creative potential as well so if you feeling uh if you're in resistance in any way or you're feeling held back from being who you are look at balancing that throat chakra and also look at getting grounded with the earth perhaps you could do some root chakra meditations throat chakra meditations to assist with the sacral and heart chakra activations that are happening. Everything is in accordance with everything else. There is this sense of putting all the bits of the machinery together and having it all aligned in order for it to run smoothly. They're saying like the car. If one part of the car is not working, then it can affect the other parts of the car from running smoothly. So that's what they're saying. If you do the heart chakra, the sacral chakra, but if they're if they're being activated right now, but you're having there's other areas that need looking at, 
balance them as well so that you can come into harmony with 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 all of your being i hope that makes sense but that's what i'm hearing from spirit so let's have a look with the cards now what further messages spirit has for the week ahead spirit guides ancestors ascended masters and angels of the highest light and good information on what's being activated this week you know i knew this card was going to come up i absolutely knew when i picked up this deck i knew that that visualization card so perhaps it could be uh this week for some of you a lot of your psychic gifts coming to the forefront all of us every single one of us is psychic every single one of us has intuition we all have the gifts. It's about us awakening to them. And so this week, you may experience, I'm hearing deja vu. You may experience heart connections. Because remember, we're talking about that heart to heart, uh, the heart chakra and the sacral chakra connections. These, there could be romantic connections coming in this week, or it's in your energy field. You are manifesting it or these are people coming towards you or the relationships that you are in are coming into more of that connection, more flow, or it's activating for that flow in the coming weeks. But visualization also talks about creation. Because, and now we're, we've got this third eye chakra, because, and, and Spirit was just talking about having all of everything in alignment. So having all of those chakras in alignment creates your smooth momentum. And here we have that third eye. And visualizing what you want to create from the heart and having the sacral chakra activated allows you to put that into practice and they're saying <laughs> also with that being grounded allows you to put to take those action steps to feel that security and stability with that creation so this is what's happening, visualization, heart-to-heart -heart connections, bringing in that beautiful energy of coherence as well with others. There's a collaboratory energy here, co-creation here with self, with universe and with others. For some of you, there is a sense of calling to your destiny. There's also, I'm hearing, uniqueness. Uh, celebrating your uniqueness. I'm seeing this as like paint. And it's creating the colours in the water. is creating a art piece. And this is the parts, the different parts of you, which create your own artistry within your life. See that potential in yourself. They drew me to this deck of cards as well. I didn't get a vision with these ones, but they did draw me to this one. So let's see what they want to say. Oh, perfect manifestation that's what we're talking about here this gentleman he knows how to work with the energy he's wearing a ring here which is green which talks about the heart connection his helmet with this part of the metal going upwards this talks about the connection with the universe 
and I get that sense here with him standing at this podium here it's like he is communicating and expressing himself into the world and so that's what's being called forward for you now that's why spirit was mentioning getting that throat chakra cleared and speaking your truth and being that in your life manifesting that creative potential wonderful and then they drew me to this deck here for some angel messages There's a lot of messages we'll leave it at that okay we have beloved one i am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship okay that's for those of you who are wanting to bring in your soul tribe wanting to manifest true love okay or wanting a renewal in that relationship within your spiritual relationships outdoors Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Do you see the synchronicity here? It's just phenomenal. This is that energy at the moment. Wonderful. Divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Don't look at what's going on in your life that's going wrong. Look at the potential. What, what's being created and being grounded, connected with Gaia is going to help that. Gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time and surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. Exactly. And surround yourself with people who, who connect in with that vision. The last message we have here is spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. And remember I was talking about in my meditation prior that was showing me the bird and that freedom, that sense of freedom. So that freedom is here for you. And that's what this activation with the sacral energies and the heart energies are allowing for you moving forwards. So that is your energy activation reading for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, subscribe and comment to support my channel. I'm very, very blessed and I'm thankful for all of you who are here and watching today. Much love. Bye for now.